In this video, I'm going to show you how to get all 50 Skaru Tree Fragments to raise your blessings to increase your strength by 5%, as well as your damage negation by 5% for each blessing you get. For our very first one, we can go to the Three Path Cross Site of Grace right over here, and you'll find one right next to the Site of Grace. For the others in the video, some of them will be in hidden, difficult to get to locations. I do have guides linked in the description that help, can help you get to all these areas. The next one can be located in the middle of the gravesite plains right over here at this location. It's an NPC who has a shining pot. In general, anytime an NPC has a shining pot, the very first time you kill them, they will drop an item that you can collect that they will not drop the second time. You can see if I go ahead and I pick this up, I'll actually get a Skaru Tree Fragment as well as some other stuff from his body. So make sure every time you see those shiny pots, you kill those enemies. The next one is at the Church of Constellation towards the south of the Graveside Plains. When you get to this location, you will fight a NPC boss. And after you're defeating him, you will see in front of the statue, you can go ahead and pick up two Skaru Tree Fragments. It counts as two when you pick this one up, so you get like two within this one collection. The next one is going to be at the main gate cross, Site of Grace. Quite simply, once you first make your way here, the Skaru Tree Fragment will be right next to the cross. Very easy. Some of them are super simple like this. Now, just south of the previous place, we're going to go ahead and make our way to the location right over here on the map. And you, to get here, you can get to the Cliff Road Terminus, which is from this road over here, just heading south. You can find the pathway, get to the side of Grace, and then run up to this location over here. This is another enemy who has the sparkling pot on his head. All you got to do is defeat him, pick up the item that he drops, and you'll get a Skaru Tree Fragment amongst all the other items that he dropped. For the next Sites of Grace, you're going to go to the small private altar in the Bellarat Tower settlement location, and you're just going to go ahead and you're going to follow me as I lead you to a hidden Mikulus Cross location within this place. and you'll find the Skaru Tree Fragment right over here to collect. For the next one, we're gonna head to the Castle Front, Sites of Grace. It's practically just in front of it. From this Sites of Grace, we're actually gonna head to the Southwest, or East, I don't know, Southeast, West. It's kinda of just South, to be honest, right over here. The next one can be found at the Pillar Path Cross Site of Grace, where you'll find Theolier in the game. At this location, it's quite simple. You'll find the Skaru Tree Fragment by the cross. The next one is going to be in Castle Enzus at the Castle Enzus Checkpoint Site of Grace. So just make your way into the castle, get to the Site of Grace, and you should find the item right over here. Super easy to get to. The next one is going to require you to make your way all the way down to the Cerulean Coast, right to this side of Grace down here at the bottom of the map, which requires you to get to the Cerulean Coast. If you don't know how to get here, I do have videos linked in the description on how to get all the map fragments and to all these different areas of the game. The next one in the Cerulean Coast is going to be located over here at this side of Grace. So quite simply, you just make your way here from the Cerulean Coast one. Follow this pathway up here. You're gonna just stick to the left every single turn you get until you get to a little cave entrance, which you'll see I'll take you directly there so you can go ahead and follow me. It will be easier this way. You'll see you can drop down here, go into this cave, and the item on the floor here is going to be the Skadu Tree Fragment that you're looking for. 
The next one looks like it's in the Cerulean Coast. It kind of is, but it's in a, the higher ground. So it's on the top over here. It's a hippo enemy that you have to defeat. You access it by going to the Dragon's Pit. So from here, this side of Grace, you can just follow the pathway where I'm going right now. You just go down here. You get to the Dragon's Pit dungeon. And inside this dungeon, you'll find a giant pit. You jump down that pit. You go fight the boss at the bottom. Come out this terminus, this side of Grace, and you head along this path over here. Very simple once you do get out here. And you just kind of make your way through all these sides of Grace. And you just keep continuing along this pathway so just like this it's really easy once you're actually doing it and then you get to this side of grace over here and then from here i'm going to guide you exactly how to get to this hippo location and once you defeat this hippo you will get a scouto tree fragment At this point, I can tell you that every single hippo that you defeat in the game will give you Skadu Tree Fragments, so, so kill them when you see them. Though I'll be showing you all the locations in this video. The next one is going to be here at the Jagged Peaks Mountain, right over here on the right-hand side. You're going to take pretty much the same pathway to get to this area through that Dragon's Pit dungeon that we took earlier. So as reference, if we backtrack, we're going to go through this path over here, starting at this side of Grace. You're going to make your way down to the Dragon's Pit dungeon, and you're going to jump in the pit at the very end of the dungeon, come out over here, and from this location by the dragon, you head north and you just follow along the pathway, get to this side of Grace, and keep continuing towards this direction. From here, I'll just guide you exactly to where the item is. It's it's going to be lying on the ground and you just have to practically run up to it. You'll see it's right in the back corner over here just after those two boulders fall and you can go ahead and loot the Scudder Tree Fragment at this exact location. The next one is going to be at the High Road Cross, Sides of Grace, one of the simple ones. You just get to this location after beating the Castle Enza's boss, and you'll see the Scudder Tree Fragment is right here. Just north of the High Road Cross, Sides of Grace, we can make our way into this little village town right over here where I'm aiming right now. There is a Scudder Tree Fragment that is just sitting in front of a statue. As you run in here, you'll see it's located right on this little short wall, and that's where you get it. The next one can be found at the Church of the Crusade, which is just to the west of that village that we were just at. So if you make your way here, you will find an NPC who will invade you, and then you'll go ahead and collect the Scudder Tree Fragment right here. The next one is an easy one, Morth Runes. We're going to get it exactly at the Sight of Grace right here. So you'll just get to the Sight of Grace, and you'll just pick up the item just like that. And there's also a bunch in this area that I'm going to show you. The first one is going to be right over here. So it's just to the northwest-ish location from the side of runes, the north runes side of grace. When you make your way here to this little encampment, you'll see there's a statue that has one in front of it like this. And then the next one is actually going to be to the southeast. So if you make your way to this exact spot right over here, you can go here and you'll fight a, an NPC who has one of those shining pots. And once you defeat this NPC with the shining pot, you will then get the scouter tree fragment. Just do be aware, after attacking this thing, there is another the enemy who's going to try gank you so be careful the next one from the more through side of grace is going to be to the northeast so into this water area over here just to the north over here before you go through the pathway that leads to the north end of the map you're gonna go ahead and pick up this scudder tree fragment in front of the statue just like that and then for a really sneaky one, we're going to go to the south. So all the way to the south of the Morth Ruin side of Grace, right at this location over here, you'll see there is a spirit spring that we have to unlock, which we have to go around the corner there to break and then get on top of this thing to get to this location, right? So I'm going to show you how to do all of this. Starting right over here, you'll see here is the spirit spring. It's blocked right now. We have to go to the east around the corner and you will see there is a stone thing that we have to destroy, which will unlock the spring. And now I can go to the spring and you can just, you know, jump up onto the high ground and you can continue following along me along with me to get to the exact location you'll see up here is a site of grace as well as one of those crosses where you can pick up the scudder tree fragment 
The next one we're gonna do is at the main gates plaza. This is the first boss of the Shadow Keep. Once you walk into this plaza, you'll encounter this boss. It is a hippo boss. Like I said, all the hippo bosses will drop fragments. This one drops two, I think. Now that you've made your way to the Shadow Keep for the first time, you will have unlocked the Fissure all the way to the south of the Cerulean Coast. So you have to have gone to the Shadow Keep. So right over here, this location, at least this far, to re like reveal or remove the barrier, the charm that is blocking the fissure. So once you get here and you go all the way down this pathway, right at the bottom, there is a Sight of Grace at the bottom. I'll let you guys follow along here. Essentially, you're going to go into the fissure here and you're going to make your way to the second site of grace. So there'll be another one over here as you drop down into the stone coffin fissure like here. And then we're going to progress all the way to the next site of grace where you'll find the next scudder tree fragment. So you can go ahead and follow here. And you'll see the scudder tree fragment is right over here for you to pick up. Now we're going to head to the Recluses River upstream site of grace. This one is super hidden, by the way. This one was crazy. I didn't even know you could go down here. But from the site of grace, if we head southwest along this pathway over here, just go ahead and keep continuing with me. Now, typically you would keep going to the straight south, but now we're actually going to turn to the east and you're going to go and loop around like this because there's a pathway to get to the very bottom from here. So just keep hugging the cliff on the left and you'll see there's a platform that drops down here and you're just going to take this and you're going to go all the way down to the bottom here and then you're going to follow this pathway to the north and we're going to go to the very end, but I'll let you guys follow along with me. And you'll see right over here, you can go ahead and find the Scudder Tree Fragment. For the next location, we're making our way to this area of the map where there are two hippos. You can defeat both of them. To access this, you're going to go from the Recluses downstream river side of Grace. So right here, you're just going to jump down all of these things and just progress all the way down to this area. And you should come across one hippo, defeat this hippo, and you will then get your first Scouter Tree Fragment. And if you go ahead and continue more to the east, you should find another hippo walking in the area. And you can go ahead and defeat this one too to get the next Scouter Tree Fragment pretty much. So yeah, I've just got to defeat those two guys. At least it's easier than finding them in a room. For the next one, we're going to the Church Ruins in the Abyss area of the map. So right over here, we're going to go to this location. You should see right off to the side of Grace, the Fragment is here for you to loot. Also in the Abyss, we're going to the Abyssal Woods Sites of Grace, which is located right over here. Now, once you get to this location, we're essentially going to head north and then a little bit to the west around the corner over here to get to a item that is right there. So from the side of Grace, literally just go ahead and follow along with me. You should see there just in front of the tree is a item that you can pick up that's going to be the Skado Tree Fragment. 
And now we're at the Temple Town Ruins. This is not on the higher ground, it's on the lower version. So right over here, we're going to the Temple Town Ruins located right here. And I'm gonna show you to get there, you actually go through the North Ruins side of Grace, that pathway in the water, north through this poison to the side of Grace, and just west down this open way until you get to the Temple Town Ruins, right? So from here, we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the ruins, and you can go ahead and follow how I'm gonna get in here and where I'm going. Once we get into this room over here, there will be an enemy and you'll see that body that's hanging over the edge here will have the scudder tree fragment that you desire. At the church district entrance, Site of Grace, this is accessed from the Bonnie Village from the east of the castle. So you kind of go from here through the Morth Ruins, you jump down the hole in the bottom over here, you get to Bonnie Village, and then you just head east and you follow the road. You just follow this road, you'll get the Site of Grace, and then you keep following the road to the north. It will lead you to this exact Site of Grace over here. And from here, you can go ahead and follow me as we parkour along to get to the item. Now when you get into this room and you fight the first enemy, just turn to the right and you should see there is a room here. Don't jump in the water, you will instantly die. Pick up the Scudder Tree Fragment on this statue. If you had continued further, you'll make your way to the Shadow Keep Back Gate, Sight of Grace. I also have a video linked in the description on how to get to this location, so watch that if you don't know how to get here. But from here, you'll go into the room on the right and you should get a Scudder Tree Fragment right in front of the statue. And then from that same area, from that same site of grace, we're gonna make our way to this exact location over here. So progress all the way to this location from the site of grace, the shadow gate, back gate, uh, shadow keep back gate, site of grace here. You kind of go outside here and then you progress all the way to that spot that I was aiming on the map earlier. And you should see there's a big pot over here that has five scudu tree fragments around it, five of them. You can pick up five in one little area. All you have to defeat is a really difficult boss first. Okay, back into the Shadow Keep, we can go to the storehouse, fourth floor, Site of Grace. Once you've reached the Site of Grace, you will see there is a Scudder Tree Fragment next to it, right over here for you to collect. And then at the Dark Chamber entrance, where you just before you fight Mesmer, you should see if we backtrack, you probably already have this one if you've been to this area, but just down the stairs over here, there is an item that you pick up that is the Scudder Tree Fragment. Moving on to the next one, we have the Viaduct Minor Tower. Now we're gonna get two of them from this location. I'll start here from the beginning to get to the first one. Go ahead and follow along with me. Now just around this corner over here, you'll see an enemy with the pot on its head. Go ahead and defeat this enemy, and once you pick up the item that it drops, you will see that you'll get the Scudder Tree Fragment. Now back to the Viaduct Minor Tower side of Grace, you can go ahead and follow me to a different location. This time we're actually going to go out. We're going to go to a lift that is located over here, and this will take us down to the bottom where we're going to this location to fight a hippo. Nice. So just like before, I am going to lead you there so you can just go ahead and follow along. You should see when you get down here, you'll find the enemy and you just have to go ahead and defeat it like you did with the other ones and you'll get a Scudder Tree Fragment. 
Once you reach the Ra Ruins Ancient Site of Grace, this one over here at the east, when you get to this location, there will be a fragment for you to pick up at the exact spot. So this is one of the simple ones, and you know, just you just gotta get here. Progressing further, we have to get to the west version of that side of grace. So right over here at this location, when you make your way to this side of grace, you should see the item is going to be along this pathway. As we head to the southwest, we're going to go up the stairs. You can just go ahead and follow along. You should find it in front of this altar right over here, and you can go ahead and pick it up. Moving on to the last area of the map after you burn the tree ceiling, we're going to go to the Spiral Rise Site of Grace. Now from this location, you can go ahead and pick up the first one that is right next to it, but we're going to be at this location for the next one too. So at the Spiral Rise, this time we're going to go ahead and follow a different path. So get to the Site of Grace and you're just going to go ahead and follow me as we backtrack. We're going to go down to the east. So we're going to go to a little bit of a secret area. You can just go ahead and follow along. You'll see when we come out down here on the left hand side there is an item we can pick up and this is going to be a Scotto Tree Fragment. And then back to the Spiral Rise Science of Grace, we're going to continue from this location, but this time we're going to go up the stairs. So from the northwest, go up the stairs and follow along with me. You'll find as soon as you get to the top of these stairs over here, you can go into the room on your right and there will be an item that you can pick up and this is going to be a Scudder Tree Fragment. For the very last Scudder Tree Fragment in the game, we can go to the Cleansing Chamber Anteroom. So right over here, just before the second last boss of the game, go ahead and pick this one up here and that is it. That is all 50 locations for every single one to get 20 Scotto Tree Blessings from the Side of Grace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Good luck getting all of them.